Almost five months ago, a Chinese national in Mansa was shot and later died at Mansa General Hospital after being attacked by armed robbers in the district. In the latest development, Mr. Yang, age 53, Mansa Beer Director, was attacked during the long weekend by armed robbers who stormed the residence of Mr. Yang and stole more than 200,000 kwacha. Company manager Longoni Daka narrates the incident. We um, were attacked by armed robbers. Uh, they came. Uh, they came in through the wall behind uh, the factory uh, through to the residence of uh, the director. Uh, it was only around 20 hours. Uh, then they walked in, the door was open, people were watching TV there. Unfortunately, uh, this is what happened. They demanded for money. Um, he gave them the money. Uh, whatever was, uh, was in the house, it was slightly over 200,000. They collected the money. Mm. But upon getting that money, they started demanding for some, ma or some more money, saying that uh, you can't only have uh, this amount of money. You must have some more money and uh, uh, a bit of dollars. That's how they started beating all of them in the house. And Mr. Yang narrates that before the incident, he was getting threats of being killed. Talking here, talking in New Zealand. Mm. Talking in New Zealand, they use some other people for people kill me. Oh, too much. Mm. Me thinking, me no problem why people kill me. Yeah. But for 20 hours, I already come here. Mm. 20 hours. And Dopala Province Minister Derek Chilundika, who visited the victim, assured Mr. Yang that the police will do everything to bring the culprits to book. This being the second attack in about five months on Chinese nationals in the district, more needs to be done to end the crime before more lives are lost. Agnes Chamboko, Diamond News, Mansalopla Province.